NanoCAD provides two ways to place text in drawings, through single-line text, which you can learn about in another tutorial, and multi-line text, which is designed for paragraphs of text that are heavily formatted. And that's what we'll talk about in this tutorial. Starting multi-line text is different from single-line text. So I'll click on the button here and as I move the cursor around you notice that there's a preview ABC and it shows you the default size of text that will be placed according to the current text style. Indicate where you want the text so I've clicked and then how wide you want the paragraphs of text to be in your drawing. It may not matter sometimes the space is constrained so you can specify that. To place text you can either type it or else do what I've done, which is copy it from a document, in this case from the City of Toronto's CAD specifications, and then press Control V to place it. And there's your paragraphs of text. First thing you might want to do is change the width, which you can do over here. And as you change the width, notice that the text wraps around to accommodate the new size. Once the text is in place, you can edit it. Double click the text, which opens the editor. Now you can take a, for example, double click a word, change it. You can change things like the color. So here I'm going to change this first line to red. You can apply bold facing. So let me select these words, make them bold. Here we have a email address. Let's underline that. Uh, you can apply superscripts and subscripts. And you can even change fonts of the text. So here I'll come up here to the font list and change it to something silly like Broadway font. Let's look at some advanced formatting of multi-line text. So for example we can uh, change the alignment of all the text within that text box. So here it is centered and here it is at the bottom right and then I'll go back to the default top left. We can select a couple of lines and uh, change the formatting to right, center, back to left. You can use this button here to uh, change all the text to uppercase, which is sometimes used. Uh, we can uh, take these points here, add bullets to them. If you want this indented, then you come over here and you bring this margin marker over to indent that. If you don't want uh, bullets, then you simply come back here, change it to, say, lowercase letters. If you need to insert some special symbols, come to here, and then there's a variety of symbols such as degrees, omega, and cubed. And then you can access the character map that's built into your operating system. A popular one is called Wingdings, which contains many, many symbols.